This truly was a deserted island. This uninhabited nothingness is the space between matter and what doesn't matter. And it sure doesn't matter what I'm not wearing here. No sensors, moral police, or muscular young bods to make one self-conscious. And to think some people don't like being alone. If you're patient, you will witness life here like a thriving network of crisscrossing snail trails. And for me, a great place to plug my favorite shoes, a liter water shoes, the lightest and most comfortable shoes ever to enrobe my feet. Solid tough, grips the rock and shakes off water. I'll do a separate video review of these amazing shoes. But let's get back to serious business. And the business at hand is not to take ourselves seriously. Take the moment to take some images of two random people from one extreme of the color spectrum to the other. And let's see what happens. Being here can make you wonder, like where, how, and why. Is this how it all came about? After simmering in a swamp for eons, did we slither out of the sand on slimy bellies? Grew legs and paws from fingered fins to crawl up from the damp? Lifted our heads and shoulders to face life upright, homo erectus? and praise the gods whom we worshipped with our formidable intelligence and imagination. We are Adam and Eve here. The male is dominating, the female is nurturing. They will be the dominant animal now. Together, they are the new force in nature in world dominance. But not together for too long, as the white man now craves adventure and leaves behind his dark partner to serve offspring and family. Alone, the dark female tries to eradicate her somber tones. She paints herself in the image of the dominant white species. But in the end, the camouflage will not change who she really is. So the Dark Queen washes herself clean of all that white dirt. She finds herself again and screams victory. Look out world, we're coming. It's our turn to roam the wide open spaces, to declare our freedom, our liberties, and post pics of our booties on Instagram. Us old white dudes best be kind and tolerant and follow the lead. Who knows where it will take us? Maybe a new world feminine order.
Well, after all that existential tire trap, let's get back to reality. It's early morning and Rolly at anchor. We're not alone anymore, and we're hungry. We've got to catch fish. Our supplies of fresh food are running low. In the distance, I can see one of the yachts approached by a Zodiac. Turns out it's a crew of park officials. They came and visited us right after. They kindly informed us, in English by the way, that the island is a natural reserve and that you need special permission to be where we were, local fishermen exempted, and that it was forbidden to go ashore. I explained that I had asked for information in Mindelo from the marina staff and got no clear information. The park official said that now they had posted information in the marina office. They allowed us to stay the night as it was late in the day to set sail. So with some old smoked fish and chorizo, I caught three small bites for dinner. Nat used her charm as bait and got these two garupas. The music was good and early dinner would be served. Living an anchor, surviving with what you have, stock the board, and what you can catch is a great way to diet. Life is simple, pure, and pretty healthy. It would be our last supper in Santa Lucia. We would leave this island to the sea turtles and fishermen. Okay, about to lift anchor and uh, go to San Nicolau. So this is Santa Lucia. It was great, but technically we're not allowed to be here unless you have special permission. Uh, we were asked by the authorities of this uh, nature reserve to not go ashore, which we did. <laughs> they asked us to nicely to leave and we asked if we could stay one more night and uh, we're going now. Par contre ça, c'est vrai. Ça, c'est mon capitaine. Merci, Alex. <laughs> oh, she's sweet, ain't she? Yeah. So she's been good, Nat, and helping me lift anchor. Now she's gonna steer forward straight while I lift the anchor. There's about 40 meters of chain, and then we're gonna head off that away. No pas, capitaine. Vamos. Vamos. And we're off. Nat and I have a pretty good system about uh, lifting anchor. I go up to the front and guide her where to go and I, as I lift up the anchor with the, uh, the winch and uh, we have hand signals. So together now we're pretty good anchor duo team. Going that way to the north of that island, Eli Branco and directly towards Tarafal de San Nicolau. We bid goodbye to Santa Lucia. We got a glimpse of a shipwreck on the beach. Had we walked more the day before, we would have seen it up close. That would have to be left to our imagination. I later learned that the island had recently been cleaned of tons of washed up refuse by the Sea Shepherd crew. That explained why the beach was so clean. We had an afternoon to sail to the next island, and conditions were spectacular. color coordinated with the island. It's so wild. We were like, wow, look at this cool color, that deep blue and that dark coffee brown. And I said, wow, man, it looks like you. With your deep blue sweater and your dark brown color, man. In the distance, I saw a sail flapping. I steered in its direction in case they needed assistance. But within a few minutes, the sails were full. They were heading in the same direction.
Eventually, we caught up. They were fishermen, obviously much better at catching dinner than us. I tossed them a couple of beers and they promised to come back with fish once we anchored. Driving at Tarapal de San Nicolau. Hung out with some fishermen on the way in and check out what they gave us. Well, I gotta give them something, but give them a few beers. And here we're gonna find a place to anchor. This is fish. The name is rather apropos. We shared stories as best as we could in Creole. Just gave us a cool uh, fucking tuna, man. And we're gonna have a drink with him. He sailed that little boat with the sail, man. It's just amazing. We saw them out there and now you're here. So much respect for these sailors. And they're cool, man. And made an appointment to visit the town. Another chapter would soon begin.